Hey y'all, it's Producer, and today I have this poem that I wrote, like, last week. Most of my poems are actually written, like, like a while ago, but this last week I had a shrug of inspiration, so I wrote it, and I was like, I'm gonna perform it. But yeah, it's called A Proud Oxymoron, and as you're gonna find out later in the video, you're gonna find out what that means, because, like, oxymoron can mean a lot of things, but I'm gonna find out later. But yeah, I hope you enjoy my poem. And because this poem is a bit lengthier, I'm not gonna do any editing with it because I really want y'all to focus on the words and stuff. It's not like really deep, but I think that's more important than like having like visual every five seconds. But yeah, let's begin. Oh, and um, I guess I should just do this just for, I guess, transparency sake or whatever, but content warning. Um, this is going to have some pretty vulgar words, so all you kitties, y'all should probably click away. <laughs> I don't think y'all really going to do that. I'm going to preface this by saying I really don't like the word nerd. It's far too, well, hypocritical. <laughs> I'm the nerd because I like Pokemon. Boy, no curse has better than I know how dooms. Do not even read the fuck out of you like I read the fuck out of Percy Jackson. But you know what? That's a poem for another day. Point is, I'm going to use nerd because it's convenient. But yes, I'm a black nerd. Which meant growing up, I watched both The Proud Family and Digimon. But it didn't mean it was all fun and games for me growing up. You see, um, at basketball practice... I'd be the only one talking about Third Night Clues. At Nintendo World, I'd be the only one with kinks in their hair. At family reunions, I'd be the only one that I would play with. You see, I was too white for the black kids. How you not know Love Sosa? Nigga, I already know Love Sosa. But I find that high, uh, I find that really interesting because you know that that um that that Smash Bros song, which by the way, nigga, Smash Bros sounds like a gay ass game. And I was just too black for the white nerds. What does it matter if you can play as a black character? I mean, we're all pixels here. I I just got used to the loneliness. I mean, who else could I relate to? Not another black nerd. <laughs> Those are as rare as a mid-conditioned Zelda game. Up until high school, well, I was by myself. I didn't have any other black nerds, but high school changed that. However, before that, there was YouTube. And YouTube ex uh, exposed me to a whole bunch of black gamers. But I got a shout out to the first one that I personally met, Shofu. Shofu, you the realest, you the best. He, for those who don't know, is a black PokeTuber. And he really made me feel comfortable with me in the fact that I'm a black nerd. I'm a nerd like Pokemon. I'm a black person that plays P Smash Bros. And you know what? There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> because, you know, we're both Pokemon players and stuff that like, that are black. There's just things that only us, well, not us, but people like us could relate to. I mean, when Nintendo dropped that melanin option for protagonists in X and Y, we was both so happy. Although, that's a melanin option. That's just for all non-white people because that... That man's ain't got no kinks in his hair or nothing. He ain't got no big lips or nose or nothing. He ain't black, but you know what? We took him. I really like myself with my anomaly ass. I'm black as fuck. I'm nerdy as fuck. And bitch, I am proud as fuck. I may, be, I may seem like an oxymoron. Something that should not exist to some people. But I am proud of who I am. Now, if only I could find my ass, my Princess Peach. And that was my poem, A Proud Oxymoron. Please, share this video. And it's not because I want the clout, because I don't really care too much about the clout. I want people 
really specifically black nerds to know that there's nothing wrong with being a black nerd. Show this to everybody. And I know I had like a content warning, but there's probably some kids are going to find this anyway. And they're going to be like, oh, wow, that's me. And if that just makes kids and people in general, like, have more self-love, then I feel good. But, yeah, tell me what you think about the poem, poetically, and all this type of stuff. I don't have too many uh, poetic elements in there, but there were some in there. But, yeah, um, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see y'all with another video.